Hello, viewers. Once again, this is your host, viewer, idiot, Kajume Addict here, doing another Bandai Movie Monster Series vinyl review. This is on the standard size 8 inch chainsaw Final Wars Gaigen. Yes, the Gaigen of chainsaws. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Um, this figure is awesome. I can't wait to continue reviewing him. So let's jump right into the articulation. So this guy has a few. Uh, both his arms go up and down like that. They do not go 360 because he's got shoulder pads. Both of his chainsaws spin right round, right round. They are a little heavy though, so sometimes he has some problems standing if you have him out like that. Right now he's being pretty nice, pretty cool. And both of his legs go in and out. Uh, no articulation in the tail. Zero, nada, don't try it. It's not worth it. And then zero in the head. Unlike the six inch Bandai vinyl. That would come out later. That just has the regular claw hands. So the detail on this guy. Boy, is there a lot to talk about him. And I think you guys can see it for the most part. Oh yeah, look at him. He looks so cool. So this is the upgraded Gigan, obviously, from Final Wars. After he loses his initial battle with Godzilla. So, he's got his neck brace. His three claws on his head. The upgraded uh, mandibles and horn. Uh, the face is still the same with his weird chunk of teeth. That honestly are really cool. His Cyclops eye. Honestly, look how cool that is. So cool. The rest of the body has a blue, like a sparkly blue black wash to it. Adding all the way down. The silver is a gunmetal. It's a dirty silver for the most part, besides the toes and the chainsaws, which look nice and clean. Thus suggesting that the metal that's used on different parts of Gigan is a little bit different. Uh, the buzz, or the chainsaw, the buzz saw itself looks very nice. Nice and sharp. Could injure someone with it, but not too bad. The chainsaws, look at that. So cool. So, so cool. So, so cool. The back of our boy here. He's got his wonderful... I don't even know what to call them. His, his, his wings. Wings, I guess. And his long tail with the ultra spiky end. Stop, 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 stop. Anyways. Also, in that kind of gunmetal y, you know, silver color. Looks all nice. It, it really is like something about this figure, man. He was. So cool in the movie, and he is so cool in figure form. I love this guy again. I wish I had the Monster Arts version to go alongside it, because... God, he's awesome. So, um, now that we're I'm done fanning about how cool he is and how nice he looks, let's go over some size comparisons. So the first one, we've got the... Technically, it's the Tokyo SOS, but I don't believe there was any changes at all between both movies of the pink tag series Mothra. This is the small one, so this is obviously way too small. Um, the standard one is like, I think, that big. Like, she's big, big. Um, wingspan's bigger than the figure. I mean, this one's nearly bigger than him, but I mean, like, she's like, she's that big. So this one's a little too small. Doesn't look quite right. Uh, maybe when I rewatch the movie, Maybe she was maybe this small last month. I don't know. I, I think she's a little too small. I kind of like my mouth or a little bit bigger. Like, you know, like boom. That would be kind of cool. But that's okay. That's okay. That's why, you know, Bandai should just, I don't know, release, you know, a six inch version of him. Yes. No. Maybe. Possibly. Soon. Hopefully. That'd be great. I'd still buy the Monster Arts version, but that'd be nice. Uh, and then for the Godzilla, we'll do, um, I don't own the standard size Final Wars Godzilla, just because I don't really see a need for me to own it. It's a nice looking figure, but I just, 
I'm not to buy, I, I'm not trying to buy every single issue, even different sizes of the kaiju. I just want one good one, and then if there's a monster, it's one, and if that looks good, I want it. So instead, I've got the standard series Tokyo SOS Godzilla, which also looks really good. Pretty good. Yeah, I would say so. Looks good. I like it. Little, well on the small side, but I think that kind of works with this guy again. I think the Final Wars one's about this size, so I think it's probably, probably comparable. Probably comparable. If not, well, then I'm just talking out my butt. So, size comparisons out of the way. I think that's going to pretty much wrap up this review. What do I think of this figure? Well, obviously, I think it's pretty obvious that I adore him. Where did I get him, you may ask, Mr. Kaiju May Addict, sir? Stupid. Well, I got him a long time ago. About I think I've owned him now probably about four or five years. This was the uh, figure that reignited my band I love and desired to buy them more frequently the first time, uh, back when I was still living at home. Um, I got him for 50 bucks. No tag. Which is A-OK. -okay. It was too good of a deal. I think it was like 49 something and then after shipping it was about 50 maybe 60 bucks. I was blown away. Because there's no major paint scuffs. He looks really good. Uh, I, it's Chainsaw Gigan for, you know, crying out loud. And I got him for under 60 bucks. So if you can get this guy for like, even without tag, if you can get him for like 70, 80, that's normally a good deal. This one goes for a lot. I mean, even the standard 8-inch uh, regular claw hand guy again seems to go for a lot now just because people really do like this design, I think. People love the look of this design. People really seem to love the chainsaws. It's a very high-desired figure, you know. Sorry, there's a little fuzz on him. So, if you can get this guy cheap, go for it. I definitely recommend it. I love him. So, I'm going to give him... <sighs> Dang, dude. He might be my first 10 out of 10. Yeah, you know what? Let's give him a 10 out of 10. This figure's awesome. There's no down flaws. Paint's everywhere. The paint scheme's great. I mean, you can always fix his little front forward, you know. Even now, like, during my Monster X video, he, you know, started to lean forward. I've already corrected it. So, you know. And that is, it's just a little bit of extra, you know, finagling with his, his legs. So honestly, yeah, this guy deserves the 10 out of 10. The first 10 out of 10 on the channel, I think. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll have to make a patch note, correcting myself. Maybe, maybe Climax Shin got 10 out of 10. Climax Shin may, maybe got a 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10. So, uh, but in this new resurgence, wink, wink. Of the channel. This is the first perfect score. This guy again is awesome. Pick him up if you can. Hope you guys like this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. More reviews are coming. Have a wonderful day, guys. Keep being awesome. Rock out. This is your host, Kajumayatic, signing out. Peace.